Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. I know we're a little bit behind. I'm so sorry, we have been so busy. I wanna take the time to wish you guys all the best in these holidays to come. I hope that you guys are surrounded by loved ones and taking care of each other. Let's get into your reading Capricorn. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to their love life. Let's get into it. <coughs> Excuse me. We have the Temperance card here, Capricorn. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Four of Pentacles. The Two of Cups. Partner or person of your interest has the Six of Swords. The Sun card. The Four of Wands. And the hanged man okay all right Capricorn you may be dealing with a Sagittarian energy for others of you fire energy Leo Sagittarius uh, Aries I see earth here as well and water so we pretty much have all the signs here all right with the temperance card you are patiently waiting there is there is hope there is Timing is currently something that is unfolding. Okay, so if you feel, Capricorn, if you feel like things have not progressed the way you would want them to, or if you've been experiencing a bit of blockages in regards to love, in regards to the person of your interest, if communication stopped, um, or it hasn't been as fluid, uh, with the temperance card here, what spirit is telling you is that the person that you're currently dealing with is currently still dealing with past energies. We have the six of swords. So I see them walking. I see them walking towards you, Capricorn, but I think that there is still some unresolved issues about their past. Uh, this could be that they're dealing with exes. This could be that uh, they're often contemplating about the past and it's very difficult for them to... Uh, you know, feel like they're ready to, uh, you know, be open or emotionally available. But I do see that happening. Now, um, with the Knight of Pentacles, if you've been waiting on a message or some type of communication, I do see it unfolding. I want to say probably the beginning of December is when you're going to uh, hear from them or when they're actively going to actively pursue you. Uh, with the Four of Pentacles, you're a little bit guarded. I feel that you're very receptive to their energy, though. It's like there is some type of communication, some type of blockage that happened with communication. But and because of that, I see you a little bit in your head. I see you a little bit like contemplating what the hell is going on. Uh, why aren't they as receptive? Why aren't they as loving or why aren't they putting effort in trying to contact me? Uh, with the Four of Pentacles, again, I see you closing off again, and it could be because out of fear that you feel a bit rejected or you feel like they're not fully opening up to you. But I do see the Two of Cups here. So I do see progress in regards to this connection. Um, for some of you guys here underneath, we have the Hanged Man. So I feel that there is definitely a connection here. And this is for those of you guys that are single and currently dealing with someone. I do see a connection coming through. It may have started very intense, right? You guys were feeling each other. You guys were definitely like looking at each other, vibing. And then boom, something happened and communication just stopped. Um, but it's going to pick up again. So what they're saying here is don't frustrate yourself. Trust in spirit, Capricorn. Uh, they're going to, you know, they're allowing... Uh, the other person to deal with things that are still left undone that they need to deal with so that they can be able to come back around and really uh, push forward in this connection. Um, now, I do see here, again, the sun card being illuminated, um, being able to walk away from the past and feeling empowered or feeling strong, feeling like I'm going towards something more stable. And this is your partner or person of interest. I'm going towards Capricorn. Um, I see potential here with the Four of Wands. I see stability or the stability that I've been looking for. I'm ready with the Sun card. I'm ready to bring to you, Capricorn, 
uh, this commitment or this relationship or this connection to, you know, to see where we can go, to see where um, we can potentially get into a relationship. Now, with the hanged man, I feel that there may be a little bit of, it's almost like an awakening for them, um, because in the beginning, I see it's starting off very strongly, and then it kind of fizzled down. Um, and for some of you Capricorns, it's like, you know what, I'm over this shit. I'm not going to deal with this anymore. But surprise, surprise, they come back around. Why? Because they're seeing things from a different perspective. They're seeing things with clarity, with the sun, the two of cups, seeing things um, or even seeing the potential in this relationship that they didn't see in the past. So again, very positive reading here. Now, for those of you guys that are in a long term committed relationship, I feel that communication uh, has been tested in the past couple of months um, or weeks for some of you. Um, and I see you guys very like, I know the energies have been very difficult for a lot of Capricorns. You guys really have been going through it. And I feel that there is almost like a feeling of it making it very difficult for you to express it and express in the sense of not just love to your partner, uh, to your husband or to your wife, but what you're feeling, what you're going through, how work is going. Perhaps there's a lot of stress at work. And it's just been really difficult for you to express to them because you don't want to worry them. But I see that this is almost like a little blockage that we're overcoming. And once you overcome that, you know, the end of November, beginning of December, I see you guys very excited about the future. I see you guys renewing that passion, that desire, that really cheering each other on. So it's very, very receptive energy, balanced energy, really. Uh, in a very loving way. So definitely embrace this energy. Don't be too much in your head uh, for the remaining of the month going into December. It's going to be very important for you guys to put out uh, focus, clear, concise energy of what it is that you want to happen. Um, for a lot of you guys, you're already seeing the manifestations of that. So just continue to do that. Now, your specific message here from spirit is retreat yeah so this is the energy that i was sensing for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship it's almost like a renewal of this connection uh some time to disconnect from the world and take it back to you take it back to you and your partner really reconnect and really uh you know nurture and spend time together and just love each other it's going to be very important especially for you capricorns so again now for those of you guys that are currently single uh, or dealing with a specific person. When when I say retreat, it usually indicates to me a gathering or where you guys are going to physically come together and be able to cl like clear the air, really express each other's emotions or really express each other's intentions and how we move forward from this, okay? So very positive reading for you, Capricorn. Stay strong, my lovelies. I want to wish you guys happy holidays. And we'll see each other soon. Bye.